It's time for another Mountain Ranch Estates market update. I'm Ron Wilstein, a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties here in Park City, Utah. Today we want to look at how much our property is selling for in Mountain Ranch Estates. I want to cover this in three ways. Number one, I'll give you a brief overview of the Park City real estate market. And then next, I'll take a look at recent sales and prices within Mountain Ranch Estates. And finally, I'll show you how you can get market updates for Mountain Ranch Estates anytime you want. Let's begin by looking at the Park City real estate market. The market these days is mixed, so we want to take a closer look at it. Over the past year, there's been 1,206 sales in Park City. Now that consists of homes, condominiums, and vacant land. That's all real estate brokerages combined. And that is down by 11% or 153 sales from the 12 month period the year before. This graph here breaks it into homes, condominiums, and vacant land. And you can see that it's a 6% drop among homes from 539 sales the previous year to 509 the last 12 months. In condos, it's down by 12%, dropping to 568 sales from 646. And in uh, vacant land, it's dropped to 129 total sales from 174 the year before. That's a 26% decrease. So the number of sales are dropping in every category. What's happening with prices? Everyone, of course, wants to know where property values are going. But the good news is they're going up. They continue to increase at very significant rates. Here we're looking at home medium sold prices, and I've broken it down into Park City and the Snyderville Basin. Of course, Mountain Ranch Estates is located in the Snyderville Basin. But in the city limits, we see a 13% appreciation a year over year, with the medium sold price climbing from 1,857,000 all the way to 2,093,950. Among the Snyderville Basin, we see a nice 10% increase from 1,181,870 all the way to just under a million three at 1,299,000. Turning to condominiums, in the city limits, the values are down slightly 2%, with the median price dropping from 820000 to 801500 Not very much. Uh, up, however, in the Snyderville Basin by 6%, from 520000 to 549000 When we turn to vacant land in the city, it's down by 5%, from 1099000 and change to 1050000 That's a 5% decrease, but keep in mind, we're only looking at 21 total sales for the whole year. And so with such a limiting sampling, uh, I don't want you to put too much value in that decrease or if it was an increase in an increase. Snyderville Basin up 8% with the medium sold price climbing from 477,575 to 514,000. So what's going on in the real estate market? Sold prices continuing to go up, number of sales, continuing to go down. When we consider the time on the market of homes, the average time that homes on the market are taking to sell is 122 days. Some faster, some slower, but that is the average. When we compare that to the length of time that homes are remaining on the market without selling, you'll see that it's 226 days or about seven and a half months. So if you price your property, property correctly, it will likely sell within four months, give or take. If you overprice it, this is telling us that you could have your property on the market seven and a half months and still be without a sale. So the overview of the market is that the buyers are purchasing correctly priced properties, they're not wasting their time on overpriced properties, and the days on the market are increasing for those overpriced properties. Now let's look at Mountain Ranch Estates. Home sales in Mountain Ranch Estates are down 25% from the previous year. Now, before you think that's significant, keep in mind the previous year there were four sales, there's one less, three, that's a 25% decrease. We like to look at sales and compare it year over year because it gives us a forecast into the future. Absorption rate forecasts how long a home currently on the market in Ranch Place Estates will sell based upon how many homes have sold during the past 12 months. Homes are selling at a pace of one sale every 22 days in Mountain Ranch Estates, and there are currently 
two homes on the market, which equates to about an eight month inventory. Now, keep in mind that according to the National Association of Realtors, a balanced market of buyers and sellers is about a six month inventory. In resort markets like Park City, it tends to be about a nine month inventory. So when we're looking at an eight month inventory, it's tending to favor sellers because of the limited supply. The range of homes that have sold have been 2,030,000 all the way up to 2,355,000. This gives us a medium sold price of 2,350,000, which is up 26% from the previous year where the medium price was 1,861,770. So that's good positive news, but again, not a huge sampling. Lot sales are up by two sales over the previous year. How many the previous year? Zero. So we had two sales. We're on a pace of one sale every 183 days, and there are currently no lots on the market in ranch place estates. Of the lots that have sold, they range from 550,000 to 695,000 for a medium sold price of 625,000. And of course, that is up from last year where there were no sales, and so we don't have a relationship between the previous year. If you'd like to get an update on Mountain Ranch Estates, you can do this instantly. Three quick steps. Go to our website, buyparkcity.com, choose market reports, and then just create your own custom report. Let me show you how you do this. Here we are on our website, and I'll just get out of the way. Go up to market reports, click on that. You'll have this page. You go down to subdivisions. Once you click on it, you can choose M, and that will take you to the alphabetical mountain ranch estates and then just find mountain ranch estates there it is right there you highlight it you have the ability to differentiate by price and bedrooms and bathrooms but there's so few sales in mountain ranch estates that I don't think you should do that click go to market report there's the report it's really just that simple and you can highlight either of the properties these are the two I mentioned were on the market and instantly will open up details about the properties you can scroll through pictures take in the views go down a little lower get a description of the property even contact us if you have any questions about it so it's really quite simple to get the information so if you want to save a market report and this is what most people tend to want to do when you first created it you'll see the save market report most people set it up monthly it just comes to you monthly and you click on that you give it a name, you decide if you want it monthly, if you want it more often, you can have it bi-weekly or weekly or never and just save it on the website for future reference. Um, but most people do it monthly. Save that preference and it will come to you. It's just that simple. I do want to point out this button that uh, if you want to know so data, you'll notice this is active information. And if there were any pending or under contract uh, properties, they'd be listed here too. The Parks Multiple Listing Service doesn't allow us to publish so data but if you want it you click the button this form will open up it's already checked put in your address or your neighborhood that you want your contact information and hit submit we'll get you that so data so we're not trying to keep that from you we just are not allowed to publish it on the website finally I'll just mention in passing that if you want to be notified on a daily basis whenever a new property comes on the market in mountain ranch estates or really anywhere from the home page, just go to this, you see this box here, you're gonna do something very similar. Click subdivision, go down to Mountain Ranch Estates, went too far, click on that and hit search, and you will instantly have these properties, I'm gonna get out of your way, and uh, they'll come to you as often as you want. So if a property comes on the market, you'll get notified. If one on the market goes under contract, you'll get notified. Again, you don't need to watch uh, the internet or watch your website. It will come to you if you want that. So it's, uh, it's free, it's a nice feature, it's available to you, so uh, you may want to take advantage of it. Setting up the market report was easy, it took 10 seconds. If you think of selling your property during the next couple of months, you may want to uh, act right now and find out what it's worth. Again, you can go to our website, request a free property value assessment. There's no cost. Again, I'll pop up the website, go to the home page, <clears throat> and you just go to selling, 
Click selling. This button here says, what's my property worth? Click there. Again, another box fills the screen. You put in your property address right here. Complete the contact information, hit submit. We'll contact you. We'll arrange to get you the information. And there's no cost or obligation. So uh, feel free to take advantage of that. With that said, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this webinar. If you have any questions whatsoever about the Park City real estate market, you can call me or email me at ron at thewilsteinteam.com or my colleague Doug at thewilsteinteam.com. And I hope you found this to be uh, helpful. Uh, you may want to bookmark the page devoted to Mountain Ranch Estates by parkcity.com forward slash Mountain Ranch Estates. Uh, that'll give you quick reference to the latest updates on your neighborhood. Thank you.